Happy Wednesday, everyone. This is Dan Drep with Rocket Stocks doing a, another trade review as always. So today was pretty nice. Another uh, four for four day. So I think I'm on a four, four, eight, two, like a 10 or 11 winning streak in a row of trades. Uh, definitely today, I kind of felt myself being a bit antsy, especially with IWM. Um, IWM wasn't in my strongest area that i would like to trade something but i couldn't resist just the potential short obviously we reversed out of it but i handled it accordingly and got pretty lucky with how i how i sold my uh my last long on it so it was three trades total in iwm in a pretty short span of time so i took it short with 200 shares here I covered once we had about a 30, 40 cent move in my direction, half of my shares. And then as I started snapping back up to the upside, which I sort of had a feeling it might due to the distance from this blue line, which is the 20 simple moving average. Um, and I, I had this idea that we just might snap back towards it. So I took off my last lot just before it broke even. I quickly flipped into the long. I took profits up here at the 200 with 100 shares, and then it sort of dipped back down. I took off another lot just in case this move right here happened right there. Obviously, it didn't happen right away. We ended up snapping back to the upside. So once we cleared above this prior resistance between these two wicks of the, of the candles, I entered it long again, and I just killed the entire trade up here once I got another 20 cents out of the out of the play I had a good feeling that because this was a declining 8 and 20 simple moving average that this was more than likely going to act as some potential resistance for the move lower which we eventually did but then we sort of did a double bottom and skyrocketed to the upside so three plays on IWM there um the first I, I had to try the short obviously we had a gap down and then we had this move up to the 200 and rejected and sort of went back lower. So I took the took the entry there with a the small risk above there. Definitely always scale out some profits and then set yourself a break even stop to protect it. But if you start noticing with experience that you have a good feeling that something might reverse on you, feel free to take profits earlier. And then I just went right back into the long and just kind of hit two quick scalps on it to add to my day. After this, I noticed a very steep reversal on GDX slash Nugget. Um, I'm just going to show you the GDX chart, but for the Nugget play, I caught around, it was like 50 or 60 cents, I believe. Let me look at the total. Yeah, so it was about 30, it was actually more about uh, 30 cents on the two lots, now that I looked at what I made on it. So right here. Big extended gap up. GDX has a hard time holding big gap ups like this. Yes, it's only 60 cents, but you know, once you understand how a stock moves, you get a good idea. So once I saw this green get a quickly taken out by this big red, I just took it short, 200 shares, started coming back against me. So I was uh, definitely cautious to see if this was gonna try to continue, but I had to trust once again, just distance from the 20. And we ended up rolling right, right over. I certainly am guilty of selling it a bit early. I entered here and I scaled out bulk of the profits right there on this little tail bar. I didn't know if because this right here was going to hold that support and sort of rocked up to the upside, which it eventually tried. And then we got reverse lower and took the bigger short down. Definitely could have re-entered, but I hit my profit target for the day and it was coming up to 10 o'clock. So I really try not to trade past 10 i mean certainly it would have worked but it's just a rule of mine so entered in the short just nice reversal bearish engulfing candle pattern if you look it up online and then just i was looking at this little prior level to potentially hold that support so i scaled out uh the 200 shares there we did try bouncing but when that bounce failed i definitely should have re-entered the short so that's going to be a, a lesson for me just to kind of Keep watching the play even after I get out of it to see if I can get back into it, especially with the, such a simple way to control risk. I mean, I could have just risked that this little area back above the eight and then could have caught such a bigger move down um, on Nugget. It would have been more like a almost over a dollar move, almost 50 cents, 50 cents to a dollar. 
Yeah, guys, this is so terrible. <laughs> um, it's literally impossible to read this. I don't know why Trading View has it like this, but uh, pretty much went from about sixty three fifty all the way down to sixty sixty seventy two. So even from here is a dollar back to the twenty, and then another dollar back down to the prior consolidation. So if you look at GDX, this is kind of what it was looking at. But uh. There you go. So there's a prior consolidation you saw on Nugget, and then there you go. So it would have been about a dollar from here to here on Nugget, and then another dollar down. So definitely loves a good amount of profits on the table. Gonna look in, just look into my own emotions and awareness next time and see if, you know, if I can identify such a small risk opportunity like this, especially when, you know, you have such a clear signal that a short is in favor here just because of the power with a re relief rally and then get the continuation. I'm going to get a little bit more aggressive and try to jump back on the, the money train. So four trades, four winners, very happy with the day. Uh, great start to August, three winning days. Like I said, it's, it's either 10 or 11 uh, winning trades in a row, which I want to say might be even a new record for me. So the rest of the week, just going to take it slow. Going to be very uh, just risk aware, meaning just making sure I'm taking entries that i can control my risk on i identify before i even enter and it just it makes sense to enter when it's a no-brainer entry so that's it for me dan jeffrey here with rocket stocks please if you found this educational at all give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and make sure the bell notification icon is hit and if you want to know more as always about how i trade feel free to join us in the discord hope everyone has a great evening and the rest of the week